Welcome back to Tech Talks. I'm Chris Bormas and I'm happy to be sitting here in our new 20,000 square foot facility in Santa Maria, California. As you can tell, it looks a little different than previous Tech Talks. I miss my old office, but uh, this is going to be awesome. So, there's a couple changes besides this brand new building we wanted to share with you real quick. Uh, first is we have this awesome app that is now available for Android and iOS, uh, excuse me, yes, iOS devices. Um, what's really nice about it, it's got the whole product catalog on it, stuff like that, but what most people are using it for, if you're chair side, if you're in the laboratory, you want to identify an attachment, an implant, a part, take a picture, upload it through the app, it comes right to us. During normal business hours, which we just extended our business hours to, by the way, now we're open from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. So it's important to us to serve our East Coast customers better. No question about it. So normal business hours, you upload a picture, most of time we get back to you in five, 10 minutes. So it's a great way we can help you, our partners. You know, we have the new app, a new website rolled out, the search function works on it, the shopping cart works on it. It's secure, it's awesome, it even looks pretty. I like it. Um, we have the new logo you can see right behind me. Looks pretty sweet. So a lot of new changes here for you. And uh, the bottom line is it's all to work with you so, better, our partners. I received a call the other day, and this is uh, one of those calls you don't like to get. Patient presented full upper denture, uh, hybrid on the lower, said that a couple of her teeth felt loose. So after the clinician went in, opened up the access channels, removed the uh, Teflon tape, remove the screw, he saw that the implant pulled out with the screw. So, a couple things about this patient. Right off the bat, the patient had a shortened dental arch, SDA, only had 10 teeth on the arch. Second thing about it is that the patient had four implants on the lower. However, they were not spaced out ideally. Three were on the patient's right side from midline back to bicuspid. One was over in the canine area on the opposing side. So, no surprise to anyone here, the implant in the canine area was the one that failed. So what we were left with was a patient that was used to something fixed that had three implants all on the left side and nothing on the right side. Obviously, as we all know, three implants with something fixed, and especially with placement like that, there's no way we're going to be able to support the master core forces on the right side with something fixed. So we talked to the patient about, let's try something removable. First idea was to go to a bar. Well, let me back up a second. First thing we said to the patient is, let's place another implant on this side so that we can place something fixed. No, the patient didn't want to pay for another implant. Second, we said, let's go with the bar. We know bar will provide a ton of stability, and it's the closest thing to fix we can provide the patient in the removable realm. Implant supported, and with a case like this with three implants, we'd be functioning back on the soft tissue, so it'd be tissue supported when the patient functioned. No, the patient didn't want to pay for a bar. So, with the patient not wanting to pay for an implant, not wanting to pay for a bar, the only other option we had for something that would provide some function, some stability. Now keep in mind, the good thing about this is the ridge was still relatively healthy. It wasn't flat and atrophied. It had a good, healthy ridge, so we did have prosthesis stability. We went with three locator attachments simply because the patient at this point had been with that fixed detachable for 20 years, a little older. It had trouble cleaning, which probably led to the implant failure. but they had a little issue with insertion removal. So we went with three locators, but we also went with three extended range inserts, simply because we had that extra flexure, excuse me, pivot of the inserts inside the housings to help the patient align up the denture and seat it without bending, rolling, and wearing the inserts. Patients about a month into the case, they're thrilled with the results. They're happy that they can remove it and clean it. And this is really interesting. After the new prosthesis was delivered, the patient kept telling the clinician, which she didn't do before, that she was having a lot of problems with her previous prosthesis because she couldn't get in and clean it. She didn't have the dexterity she did, uh, she did 20 years ago. But she was very happy with this removable because she still had function, 
She could easily remove it, clean it at night, clean it during the day, after meals, and she still had the same security. So, at the end of the day, obviously we would have liked to place an implant, we would have liked to have a bar, but I tell you what, it was a success because we had a happy patient. That's it for Tech Talks today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for joining us for the latest edition of Tech Talks by Preet, Denture Conversion from Fix to Removable. Interested in learning more about the products you've seen here today? Visit us on the web at www.preet.com. Have a question you'd like to submit? Email us at techtalks@preet.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-A-L-K-S at preet.com.